I just finished up a series of blogs on the sun, so I figured why not transition over to the moon next. And when I was thinking about subject matter on the moon, the, the first thing that I have to talk about is phases. I promised my friend Scott Mills like a year ago that I would do phases of the moon. So I'm going to attempt to do phases of the moon. I hate phases of the moon. It's like the hardest thing to teach, and we have to teach it to second graders usually. So uh, I'm going to try and teach you phases of the moon. We'll see how it goes. Two things we need to understand about the moon. One, it does not give off its own light. It is illuminated by the sun. It reflects sunlight. And the second thing we have to understand is that the moon is up at night as much as it is during the day. So most people, if I were to ask most people uh, what comes up during the day, they would tell me the sun comes up during the day and they'd be correct. And then I asked them what comes up at night and they would say the moon and I would say you're wrong. It actually comes up during the day just as much as it does at night. Here's a movie I made of the moon phasing completely out of scale. What is important to notice is the angle between the earth, moon, and the sun. At new moon, the moon is between the earth and sun and the illuminated side faces away from us. As we head towards first quarter, the amount of the moon that we can see gets bigger and we call this waxing. At first quarter, there is a 90 degree relationship between the sun, earth, and the moon and we can see one quarter of the moon. The moon continues to grow as we go into full moon. The moon is opposite of the sun with the earth in the middle. At this point, we can now see all of the illuminated part of the moon. As we head towards third quarter, we see less of the moon. It starts to get smaller and we call this waning. Third quarter is another 90 degree relationship, so we're going to see a quarter of the moon, just the opposite quarter of first quarter. Here are two movies playing side by side. One is phasing from space and the other one is phasing from the Earth. And so you can see what the moon looks like from the planet Earth. So far so good, because now it's gonna get a little harder. We're gonna try and know what time it is by the phase of the moon. So stay with me. Here's the sun, here's the moon. New moon, I told you new moon was always with the sun. It's always in the direction of the sun, awesome. So wherever the sun goes, new moon goes with it. If the sun is at noon, right over your head, so is the new moon. If the, the sun starts to set, so does the new moon. It's easy, whatever time it is, that's where the new moon is. Same exact thing. Full moon, Second easiest to understand, full moon is opposite of the sun. So if the sun is directly overhead, the full, the, the full moon has to be underneath the ground. It's underneath at midnight. So it's 24 hours differential. If the sun is setting, the moon, the full moon, is rising. They're opposite of each other. So that's easy. Just tack on 24 hours, or 12, 12 hours, and then you got it. First quarter moon is a little tougher, and third quarter is the hardest. First quarter moon is trailing behind the sun. So let's just think the sun is starting to set, right? This guy's gonna be six hours behind it. So he's gonna be as high in the sky as he can go. He's six hour differential. And as the sun starts to go to midnight, this guy starts to set. So they're, they're six hours behind. So whatever time it is, minus six hours, that's where the, the first quarter moon is. The third quarter moon is six hours in front of the sun. So let's just say the third quarter moon is rising. Well, it's midnight. The sun's trailing the moon now, it's opposite. As the, the third quarter moon starts to rise in the sky and gets to its highest point, the sun is six hours behind its sunrise. So you actually see the third quarter moon in the daytime for a long time, it's pretty cool. So that's how you start to tell time and that's the hard part, that's where you really start to master the moon phasing is when you can tell the time of the day by the moon phase. Two other words that get thrown around with the moon phases our crescent, which you can see here, it looks like an arc of a sort, and gibbous, which actually means hump shape, as you can see here, it looks like a hump. So I like to like teach people and help you find new ways to demonstrate this, and I'm gonna show you the demonstration that works the best. Now what you wanna do is buy a styrofoam ball and stick a pencil in it, and have every student do this. 
You need a light source, and for this I just have a lamp. It's very bright. Ooh. And you use uh, overhead. If you still have overheads in your schools. And I'm gonna use toilet paper because I don't have a sphere, a round sphere to use. And what you do is you have the students start with new moon and slowly go out. And now you can see crescent moon. I'm going towards first quarter. And now if you look, I'm the, the camera right here is 90 degrees away from the light source and I have first quarter. If I go 180 degrees away, the whole thing gets illuminated and so on. You just keep going around and I can't do it because I'm like in the way and you can see me here. But you can see it's going to start to phase until you get all the way back around to new moon and the things in the way blocking the light source. So it's a great demonstration. It's a great way to show um, moon phases and I think it's by far the best way to show moon phases and I highly recommend that demonstration. It's really cheap. You buy a styrofoam ball for a couple cents, I hope. So there you go. So now you're a moon expert, a moon phase expert. You can at least tell people that the moon doesn't give off its own light. It's not the Earth's shadow. It's the relationship between the sun, the Earth, and the moon, and how we see it, the perspective. It's awesome. I mean, month, moon, it's, it, it, it cycles every month. The moon goes around us in a month, and that's where we got the word from. So go teach people some cool stuff. Uh, I plan on doing a lesson on does the moon rotate and some other cool issues about our moon. Because we always see the same side of the moon, so does it rotate? It's a good question to think about before my next blog. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the answer. So have a great week, and maybe I'll see you guys in another week or two.